facing tomorrow. Matthew 6, 25 to 35. There are millions of people all over the world who are deeply concerned about what the future holds. And yet, anxiety has been ranked as the number one cause of de depression globally. We have been informed by 2030 mental illness will become the leading cause of death world over. We worry about countless things including scenarios that may never even come to pass. What shall we eat? What will become the future of our children? Where will we establish our homes so we worry? When Jesus observed anxiety in the eyes of his disciples, he addressed them in verse 25 of Matthew 6 saying, Therefore I say unto you, do not worry about life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor your body what you will put on. Isn't life more than food and the body more important than clothes? What we often fleet over pales in comparison to what we already possess. Jesus remarks that humans are peculiar creatures. They frequently fail to appreciate the treasure in their hands and instead covet those they held in their neighbor's hands. Life is more than just food from KFC and McDonald's. All our experiences and struggles are mere temporary inconveniences. Consider the burden that weighs heavily on your heart, entrust it to God in prayer, the uncertain future, present delays and lay them at God's feet, all in prayer. Those who surrender everything into God's hands will automatically witness God's hand in everything. You were not born to mere crawl through life. You stand tall and you'll navigate life's challenges with courage. Take that vision to God in prayer. Lift your concerns for your children in prayer. Pause for a day's trouble and recall God's countless blessings for you. When we pray, God's plans for our lives surpass our circumstances. In verse 26 27, Jesus compares humans to flying birds in the air. God still cares for them, providing their sustainers. He even adorns the lilies of the valley, which bloom briefly before withering under the scorching sun. What about us humans? How much more does God care for humanity, created in His image? God attends to every detail of our lives. He has prepared a cushion for us in the toughest times, yet sometimes He allows us to go through the fire without a cushion, intending to refine the rough edges of our character, making us shine. If we only experienced good days, our faith would be feeble, lacking the test of our diversity. Scriptures teach us that the testing of our faith develops perseverance. Cease worrying about the future and how everything will unfold. Someone will have an abundance while others will have little, yet God connects us to our destiny to help us make ends meet with, with or without what we have. God has surveyed our lives and knows what knows that even with limited income we can overcome he has surrounded us with circles of friends and supporters worrying does not alleviate tomorrow's sorrows it only saps today of its strength a desperate worrying is more draining than a day of hard work don't worry saying what shall we eat or what shall we drink what shall we wear for the pagans run after all these things and our heavenly father knows that we need them Life transcends the pursuit of wealth alone. Existence holds deeper significance than we actually ever get to know. When consumed by greed for material gains, our life's purpose become obscure. Seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all these things shall be added unto you, Jesus says. Thank you for listening, Patrick, a living work community. God bless you.